Now, in this lecture, we will talk about what is session and how to use it. We are going to learn how session works and how to use it in PHP program. A session is a way to store information to be used across multiple pages. When you work with desktop applications, the computer knows who you are and how long you are using that application. But web servers are slightly different. Web servers don't know who you are and how long you have been working on a website because the HTTP servers are stateless. They don't store user information. They only get the request from the client and send a response. Session variable solves this problem by storing user information to be used across multiple pages. By default, session variables last until the user closes the browser. If you want to store data permanently, you can use a database. Now, let's take a look at how session variables are created. The very first thing you need is to start a session. A session is started with session start function. You must create this function to create a session variable. So this function actually starts the session and using it, you can create your own session variable. Session variable created with session global variable. The session global variable start with dollar sign underscore and then you need to specify a name session in the capital letters. Now keep in mind this session function must be at the top of the PHP file. Now once you create the session variable, you can specify name to it. So the session variable store their name using an array. So you need to specify here square bracket and then specify name to your variable. And if you want to store any value, you can specify that value to this variable as well. Now you can access this variable across multiple pages. Now let me show you a very simple example to understand how session works. So I'm going to simply get rid of this statement and I'm going to create here a simple HTML5 snippet and I'm going to specify a title here. And as I said earlier, the session must start at the top of the page. So I'm going to create a new session here at the top right here. And in the body section, I'm going to add PHP syntax. And inside it, I'm going to create a new session variable user and specify value ID. And if I want to echo this variable, I'm going to simply call here echo with a session variable name. So when I execute this statement, it's going to echo this ID. That's super easy. Now, what if you want to access this variable in different PHP file? You can do that as well. I'm going to copy this code and create a new file, sub.php and paste all that code here. Now keep in mind to access the session variable, you need to start the session again in the new file. So once I start the session, I can access the session variable which we have created in the previous file. So in the index file, I have a session variable user. I'm going to echo this variable like this. Or I can change the value of this variable as well in this file. Now if I echo this statement, it's going to echo this id value. And when I change its value like this, and now if I execute this statement, it's going to echo this user ID. Now, if you want to destroy this session, you can do that as well. So just start this echo down here. I'm going to just call a new function session unset. This will just remove all the session variable. Now, this function is used to remove all the session variables. Now, if you try to echo this variable, just start this function down here it's going to return undefined message. Just out of that, we have another function that destroy the session. We have a function session destroy. This function is used to destroy the session of the page. So this function is going to destroy the session which we have started at the top of the page. Now, if I try to access this variable just out of this destroy function, I'm going to get an error message because this function will remove all the session variables and this function will destroy the session. So you will get error message when you call this variable. And keep in mind, you can't access this variable on the other page as well. Now the question comes in where you can use these session variables. Most of the time, you can use this session variable to authorize the user. When the user log in, you store their ID in this session variable. And, and if the user is a login user, you allow user to access different features of your website. And there are many ways you can use this session variable in your PHP program. Now, I hope you understand how to use session variable in PHP. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.